Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an international superstar and one of Jamaica's top female artists who recently landed the number one spot on the reggae billboard charts. True story, and she's been spicing things up on and off the popular reality show Love & Hip Hop Atlanta for the last two seasons. Please welcome back to Sister Circle Live, Grace Spice Hamilton. Yes! <laughs> Come on, Spicy! Hello, darling. I'm hey. loving that dress. I Ooh, love that be look. Be careful. Be careful. Oh. Man. Got to get to sit right. down. Hello, darling. Mm. Ma, Hi. 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 Yes. Hi. Please Hi. have a seat here. Blah. I mean, the purple pillow. Thank Hello, you. Miss Spice. <laughs> Hey. hey, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, Again. absolutely. A lot right. has been going on since I you know, left right? us the last time. Let's talk about your new single, Black Hypocrisy. Talk a little bit about that and the meaning behind the song. Well, um, I did my single called mm -hmm. Black Hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. That's from my mixtape captured. I wanted to create awareness for colorism because mm -hmm. um, in the black community, I believe that a lot of it's a lot of black people fighting against each other. Yes. So um, it's within our own race. There's a lot of hatred, people degrading each other because of the color, the skin, and stuff like that. And I, as a black woman, I just wanted to stand up and use my platform to say, this needs to stop. Yes. Right. So I'm basically doing this for my daughter or for, you know, someone else's child who may feel inferior because of society, how society make you feel like you have to have a light color to look good or, mm -hmm. you know. And then there's all these other girls who are bleaching the skin. And then t the black community turn around and say, oh, you're bleaching. And that's self-hate. But I believe that they are the cause why these young girls are bleaching mm -hmm. because they want to fit into society because society makes them feel that way right that you have to have a light color to look good and speaking of the ble uh, bleaching you got a lot of pushback recently on social media um, you about skin bleaching mm -hmm. you said it was not a publicity stunt no because you did like the, the blonde wig and, the, and the so what I wanted to do I was basically using myself like a billboard I was using myself as a walking gotcha. billboard because it's like a protest I wanted to say okay so I w I'm black and and, you know, I've been, you know, promoting myself as a black woman for right. so many years. And you've been dragging me, downgrading me, saying, oh, I'm too black. Mm. All right. So this is what I, I did, you know, just to say to them, is this how you want to look? Mm. Or is this beauty for you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's really what the entire um, cause was about. So you, I wanted to, them to hear my message in my Black Hypocrisy song. Yeah. That so this did is you what they're causing. Did you think that you would get that much attention? Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. It, it, you know, it's per a worldwide debate that I was not expecting at all. You know, I just feel like in a Jamaica, okay, you know, I'm from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. right. I would, you know, create that awareness in Jamaica and that it would just double there in my country. But little did I know that it would be such a huge... Thing. It was I, me. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I took all the posts off of my Instagram and I posted, um, I posted the picture. I really wanted to, you know, have a shock value yeah. and have the world's undivided attention, but I didn't know that it would be so yeah. big. Yeah. It right. was everywhere. Yeah. And so obviously you talked about growing up in Jamaica and having to, to, to face this, but it's a big deal in Jamaica for the skin bleaching now. It's a big deal because that's how society make you feel like you have to bleach to be on top yeah so that's what's happening right now that's why all the girls are bleaching because you know even the man they make them feel like oh if you have a browner color you know they give you a name and they say browning you're popping uh -huh. they make you feel that way and that's what you know I was trying to explain what society is doing within the black community right and it's, uh, it's so funny how society can make people develop things in black China she came out with a, a cream called mm. white nicious oh my god and how do you, how do you feel about that <laughs> so Thing. I can't she's over that. in Nigeria, like just promoting this. Right. I'm against it. You know, I mean, uh, you know, why go to Nigeria where there's, you know, so much black, beautiful women and try so to beautiful. sell this product? I'm, I'm, I'm totally against it. I'm not with it. I mean, I don't think, I don't think it's something that she had to do. Yeah. For she could have used her. Uh, she could have used her platform to do something else. And yeah. for a coin, no. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. For me, that Black China sell out for that one yeah. I just became confused. You know. <laughs> hold on, hold on. She said, you know, the accent was thick. Okay. Right. You said Black China sell out for that one, no. <laughs> that means she sold out. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay. She did. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, you said. Sell out for sweetie. Yes. That's so. a catchy Jamaican accent. I okay. love it too. Okay. <laughs> we love it. All right. So uh, you're coming up on another season. Of um, love and hip hop, like you guys are currently filming, right? 
Yes, they are, but... They? What do you mean, but, they? Um, I mean, the show come back next year. Mm -hmm. So you just have to stay tuned uh, to see just, if I'm coming back. Oh. You said they, which yes. means not we. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna let that oh, ride. Yeah, we're gonna let, let that ride. Smooth on out. Okay, nope. come back next year. I think they start back in March. Okay, the, show, the Atlanta um, part of it come back in March. Okay, I'll come back and give you some tea. Okay, sounds like yes. It. I'm you ready to deal? sip it now. <laughs> She's going to another franchise. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. And you must feel really excited about having the number one reggae album captured. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how does that feel? Just on, that it's on the Billboard charts, that it's not just in your country, I'm but everywhere. I'm overly excited. I'm overly excited. I don't even know if I can explain how I feel because when I went to the number one spot, especially on um, the reggae iTunes chart, Bob right. Marley was in the number one spot wow, for reggae, and wow. he's like wow. the greatest yes. um, ever. Sure. Yeah. So when I took his spot, I was like, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It felt Congratulations. Good. Congratulations. It felt great. Yes. yes. And you know what? What makes it feel even better is because I'm in a record company. I'm in a you know deal with my record company, VP Records, for over ten years now, mm -hmm. and they were supposed to release um, my album, and they've never released an album with me. So I did this like on my own, no management team, no record label, just me and my fans and my team. And so I feel even better. Yes. It yeah. feels good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, Spice, thank you so much. Again, come back and give us the spice. I will. A little bit later <laughs> on, at, you can catch my. Or maybe not. We don't know. Loving Hip Hop Atlanta. Uh. And on VH1, of course, our album Captured is available on iTunes. Up. Oh.